guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I am back here in my echoey apartment with bad lighting and there's people moving in outside, so sorry about the background noise. My summer is now over and classes are starting, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching my vlogs. For those of you who actually watched my vlogs, there were 10 episodes, so 10 weeks of vlogging. And today, I'm gonna tell you about my experience with vlogging. It was an amazing experience. It was an opportunity that I just couldn't pass up. I've never actually vlogged before. Like, I've done a few vlogs here and there, like follow me around high school, my first day of school, whatever, I don't remember. But anyway, I've done a few vlogs in the past, but I've never done vlogs consistently of a trip or anything similar. So this was a very new experience for me and I have pros and cons. This video is not to bash on vloggers or anything. It's just my own experience, my opinions. So why did I decide to vlog? Honestly, I didn't want to stop making videos for you guys because I have been uploading videos every single Tuesday for the past two or three years. Don't remember exactly. I didn't want to just stop because I wasn't going to be home. So my friend Alice gave me the idea of just vlog everything. So I did. Let's go over pros and the cons of vlogging. At the beginning of my vlogs, as you may have noticed, I videotaped a lot more and I talked a lot more and anything that happened, I recorded. Towards the end of the videos, I wasn't appearing much or talking much. I was just recording the scenery and here and there. And in my last vlog, I didn't vlog much. At the beginning, first time vlogging, I was excited. I was vlogging here, there, blah, blah, blah. But it kind of made my family feel a little bit uncomfortable. I wasn't able to fully 100% enjoy it for me. I always had to think, oh, I have to take a video of this. Oh, Carlos, my brother, can you please take a video of me here doing this, blah, blah, blah. So it, it became a little bit of a task, homework I had to do during my vacation. And then also the editing, but hey, that's part of being a YouTuber. I'm not complaining, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. As the videos went on, I discovered what kind of vlogging I liked better. I did like talking less and just showing more of the scenery. It's a little hot, so I'm gonna put my hair up. I'll be right back. <laughs> All better. So was vlogging hard for me? Yes. Would I do it again? Maybe. I don't know. It depends. If there's like this big event going on or something in the future that I might decide to vlog again. But if I'm just going on this trip with my family or with my friends, then I won't vlog. Am I glad I vlog? Absolutely. First of all, I was able to post a video every Tuesday and now I have those videos there so I can watch them whenever I want. Like there's some channels out there that all they do is vlog, which props to them, takes a lot of hard work, so congratulations. But for me, I wouldn't want to vlog my life and everything that happens because I think it's very important for me to keep my YouTube life and my real life separate. So I do share some things with you guys, but not all of it. You know, there's a big part of my life that you guys don't know about and I would like Keep it that way. I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching my videos all the time. And if you enjoyed the vlogs, leave me a comment to see what you thought of them. You know, it was something a little different in my channel. Next week, I will continue with the hot glue sculpture, so stay tuned for that. I know like half of you follow me just because of my hot glue sculptures, which I'm fine with. And also I wanna say, Thank you to my parents and my family and my brother for making this trip amazing and unforgettable. I love you all. See you next week with a hot glue sculpture. Bye.